we're going to show one of our DC motor tests that we perform on DC motor armatures. In DC motors, the armature is the windings that are wound on the shaft connected to a device called a commutator, which generates a field to produce electromotive force, or EMF, to generate torque. And what we are going to be doing is a DC bar-to-bar -bar test so that we can determine if there are any turn-to-turn -turn shorts in the windings of the armature. We'll be using one of our bar-to-bar -bar testers here. This one in particular is a Monolithic Industries M117 mainframe. And we are going to go ahead and start the test. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to mark a start point on our test jig here and the set point will be here. That is our start point. This assures that we will be doing every single bar as we rotate this armature, and we will know where our start and stop point is. We are going to go ahead and turn on the tester and start our first bar-to-bar -bar test. Okay, so what we are looking for on this range is anything falling between this mark and that mark. This would be a normal state. Anything going beyond or below will be what we would call a failed test. So we will go ahead and start. Okay, the first bar is good. There we go. All right, we've got a good contact there. We will go over to the next bar. That is also good. We will continue. That is also good as well. Okay, those tests look like a good normal armature. We see that we have quite a bit of contaminant on this rotor and the core laminations. So we see that we would need to get rid of that by washing and baking out this armature. That will get rid of some of the hopefully erroneous readings that we had. But this looks like an altogether good commutator and winding within this motor. So now we have set up on our jig what we know to be a bad armature. But we are doing this to show you what this looks like. So you can see some problems here. The main issue is this commutator has a severe groove in the middle where the brushes have worn down the copper bars over time which can create problems. You also can see this discoloration and just general damage on this commutator. We can also see some darkening within the windings. That might indicate on a visual inspection there is a problem. We are going to go ahead and do our bar-to-bar -bar test and see what we have as far as a reading. All right, it looks like we have some problems on that bar. We're going to go ahead and move to the next set of bars. And we're definitely seeing an issue there. Continuing on, we know that this commutator is altogether bad and we're getting all that red and we are getting sort of a connection there, but not really. We know this armature is not good by these readings here, so we are definitely going to have to rewind and remanufacture it and replace this commutator. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.